Hey guys, it's Dominic here, Video Gear, and today we're going to talk about two types of neutral density filters. We have standard ND and IRND, like this Firecrest from Format High Tech. So let's look at the differences. Standard ND filters only decrease light in the visible spectrum. However, digital camera sensors are also sensitive to infrared light. To deal with this issue, camera vendors include a filter over the sensor that decreases infrared light so it doesn't contaminate the image. Now, if we look at how a standard ND filter works, we'll see that the visible light is decreased with each filter strength from one stop, to two stops, to three stops, all the way down to six stops. Because infrared light isn't decreased very much by standard ND filters, the camera's infrared blocking filter can be overpowered, leading to what is called IR pollution. In contrast, IRND filters decrease light in both visible and infrared parts of the spectrum. So now if we look at how an IRND filter works, we see that the visible and infrared light are decreased the same amount from one stop to two stops to three stops all the way down to six stops. With this type of filter, the camera's infrared blocking filter is typically enough to avoid any issues with IR pollution. In our first example, we're going to show you IR pollution using a number of fabric swatches under tungsten light. The first example is without an ND filter, showing that all the fabric swatches are still black, just as they appear in person. Now when we put a standard ND filter and keep the same white balance, the fabric swatches turn various degrees of magenta since tungsten lights output a lot of infrared. Now, when we use the format Firecrest IRND filter and keep the same white balance, the fabric swatches are back to how they appear in person. In our second example, we're going to show you how the filters respond to daylight. We've white balanced to the 18% gray chart without the ND filter installed. Now, keeping the same white balance, we'll insert a standard ND filter. You can see that the fabric swatches show the typical magenta IR pollution. Also keeping the same white balance, we'll insert the Format Firecrest IRND filter. We can see that the fabric swatches are back to looking black, just as they do in person. Because items in your shop may reflect different amounts of infrared, it's very difficult fixing IR pollution with color correction. So, with those differences in mind, you may ask yourself, why use standard ND over IRND? The simple answer is that standard ND are less expensive than IRND filters. And if you're using lights that do not output infrared, then they're pretty much equivalent. But if you're looking for more versatility in your bag, you may want to consider the additional cost in buying IRND filters. Also, a thing to consider is that most cameras with built-in ND filters are only standard ND filters. I'm Dominique, and if you have any questions regarding this video, please call us. And if you enjoyed it, subscribe to us and like us on Facebook. Take care and have a great day. Hey, if you love gear and knowledge as much as we do, then subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo. Here are a couple more videos for your enjoyment.